I may drive a Range Rover now, but I grew up poor. I've been working since I was 12 years old. I've sold vacuums, cars, shoot, I've sold watermelons on the corner. Now, I design homes for the rich and famous. It's a hell of a lot easier than lugging those vacuums door to door. Hello? Where is everybody? Hello? We got some issues. Danielle called. She didn't get her bedding. Uh, Smith's looking for you. Hold on. I think everybody's out here. What the hell are you talking about? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mother. Okay. Mother. You see that deer head? Wow. Well, that was that good. good. These are my employees. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. They've been called a criminal, a drug addict, a racist, and a cradle robber. What are you guys doing? Oh. But I call them my family. Five minutes, meeting inside, okay? Okay. They drive me nuts, but make no mistake, they're the greatest gift that God ever gave me. I'm Charles Neal. I grew up in Georgia to a God-fearing family. I didn't go to college, but I am living the American dream. I employ my entire family, my mama Sue, my uncle Eddie, and my sister Farah. Even my grandmother Frankie and niece Ava are regular fixtures around my office. Sometimes I can't even decide if I'm living the lifestyles of the rich and famous or the Beverly Hillbillies. And I'm not even sure it matters. Because for richer or poor, we are a family by design. <laughs> what I brought you. Oh, yeah. Woo. Chocolate chip pie. Okay, good. Should, I, should I tell you about the crust? Yeah. Ava's gonna love it. Okay, well just a minute, we'll have cake after all down, this. Put the knife down, child. Uncle Neil's okay. gonna tell us. All right, what is yeah. it? Spit it out. Farah, I'm already kind of in a mood. This Dixon job is like the most important job we've ever gotten because this is going to take this company to the next level of construction and a full service design firm where we can build from the ground up. I want to take this as far as we can, and we can. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's biting his fingers. <laughs> Focusing my family is the hardest part of my job. I want to be the Donald Trump of design. And my family, they're acting like they're working at the home center at Walmart. You, you know what I'm trying to communicate, right? I do. You're interested in building your empire, and I don't blame you. You're yeah. at a good age to do that. Well, I don't want to take anything away from Sue, but Neil does have my mind for business and my eye for decorating. <laughs> you have the presentation ready, right, Mom? Everything's ready. Okay, they should be doing cartwheels when we're done with them. Okay, oh, so yeah. we're gonna sell this job. I absolutely love working with my family. And growing up, I was different. I mean, I'm just saying. But my family, they didn't care. They accepted me for me. And I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to take care of them like they did me. You got all the fabrics pulled, you got our best, right? The best. Okay, because yes. I want to close this. I want to get them so excited and pumped. So. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. My son is perfect. It was tough being a single mother. I mean, it was really tough. Money was really tight, but he would go to his piggy bank every night and bring me money. He tried to be the man of the house, bless his heart. Farah, I need you to help Eddie. You guys are gonna be delivering a rug. Make sure you guys go in there like a professional team. I mean, I don't know what you're wearing now, but you need to dress better than that. I'm the older one, you know, I should be telling him. But you know, Neil's the golden child, and I wish I had the relationship that Neil and Mom have, but the truth of the matter is, Neil wants a wife that he doesn't have to screw. So there you go. This is all gonna benefit us. I'm not, this is not for me. This is for us. Mm -hmm. you know? My sister Farah is quite an ordeal. You never know what you're gonna get when she comes in. All right, we'll have some fun. Yep, that's Xanax. Next day she's laughing, she's probably stoned. That looks like tequila. Just always something. This is gonna make or break us. It's very important, okay? Uncle Neil, I got your back. Oh, thank Aww, you. Aww, so she's good. got your back. Ooh, it's pretty.
pretty. Beautiful. Mom and I handle anything on the front end of the business. Clients, sales, public relations. She's the best employee I could ever imagine. I just cannot believe how much she puts into this business. And then goes home and cooks a full meal for her husband. You driving? Mm-hmm. Okay, wait a second. Remember, Farrah and Eddie are following us. Okay. Uncle Eddie and Farrah handle all the back end, doing deliveries, pretty much anything that's not seen. Uh, come on, Farrah. We ride a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> We got to get this done now. I love working with Eddie because he's been to prison, you know, and you get to hear a lot of funny stories. Come on. I'm not doing it all today. <laughs> Why not? You always do. Well, not today. Farrah may have a job now, but she hasn't never worked ever. <laughs> she really needs to straighten out, and I could do it. Mm, she needs to work at a chicken plant for about six months. Then she'll know what a job is. Rock and roll. You Turn got the You got the radio? This thing will have a radio. We are, uh, we're going to listen to the Bible. We listen to 91.5. Well, they got a little jam there. Rock it, baby. Okay. Let's go. Now, don't get mad if this thing breaks down. <laughs> you know, I'm just a little concerned about Farrah giving them so much responsibility. I'm definitely not worried about Eddie. Uncle Eddie, he's the most genuine guy I've ever known. I mean, I would trust him with anything. And spending all this time growing up with him, really, he's been more of a father to me than my dad. But Farah has no experience. Yeah, I know. She can be a challenge. Farah is like a dog distracted by a squirrel. At any moment, she can just be gone. She's our own person. Yeah. Remember that presentation I had last week with that Italian guy? Yeah? I think we've got the job. I mean, he oh. was so impressed with me. Ethnic groups, <laughs> they love me. The oh. Italians, the Afro-Americans. My mother doesn't really get how people see racism, and it's just because of the way she grew up. Nobody really explained it to her. In fact, the black people just love the way I dress. They come up to me and say, you got it going on. I mean, let's just hope she does not offend anybody. Now, where'd I go? Keep going and take a left up here. I can't believe she wore those damn Daisy Dukes. I told her to put some mm. pants on. Shh, we'll talk about it later. The Dixons, they clearly hired me because I did the lead singer for the Rascal Flats. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Their job started with the bedroom and then moved to the entire downstairs. And if I do that right, I'm gonna get the entire summer home. That's interesting. Ooh. This is Lee's prize mount. He loves this thing, so very interesting. Mm. Make no mistake, the rich are different. Well, we can't wait to see what you have today. I know, and I've got Eddie out there delivering the rug that we looked at last time that you guys really liked. Fabulous. Yeah, it's just awesome. I know you'll love it. Kai, Colin's calling me again. Texting me this crap. Come on, Farrah. And you get it. And I'm doing all this hard ass work, and you shouldn't be arguing over with your it. husband. You the truth. Ephesians 5 2. Submit yourself to your husband. Easy for you, husband. You know, I had a lot of rocky paths. They come in and, and busted me, and I stayed in a hole for 18 days. I had bars. That was real hard, but the Lord just spoke to me, and he said, you're going to get out. Oh, we got to get the booties. Are you kidding me? So, yes, you got to get the booties I didn't on. see Neil walk in with any booties. Well, he's the boss. Get your booties on. Neil gave me a job when I got out of jail. He keeps food on my table, keeps my child support caught up. And I don't judge him, he just needs to find him a good woman. And I don't mean his mother. How about that? Fast enough. I won't say another word. Get your booties on. I feel like a doctor. And these are actually Swarovski crystals. Do you like this much glitz Crystal and glitter, paper. honey? I was, you know, <laughs> price is not an issue, right? 
<laughs> this is made in Europe. It's really nice, but you know we make this by hand. Oh, I'd rather have the custom. Yeah. I'd rather have something made in America. Oh well, that's same. true too. It is made in America. Okay, I'm ready for a break. I'm ready for a break. Can I get up in the front? That's way too heavy back there. Okay. Just be quiet. Now. Okay. All right. What is that? $50,000 for what? For a rug for dogs to piss on. <laughs> Lord. You know you got too much money when you got a $50,000 pee pad for a dog. And how long is this going to take? We're going to do our best to get it done fast. I mean, there is a lot involved. We do have to rewire things. We'll have to get electricians. Have you worked with these folks oh, before? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're our, part of our team. Are you ready? I want to make sure that if there's anyone here, that you're on top of it. Absolutely. I mean, we're going to come in and leave. You won't even know we're here. Damn. You okay? What have you done now? What have I done? You're the one who pushed me into it. Please, Lord, give me patience. I barely knocked that stupid thing. I mean, it was probably made from China. I don't know what to do. Hey, well, if we get this right, then of course the vacation home is all yours from the ground up. Oh, that sounds great. Don't worry about the rug. I come back and fix your plan. Okay, up. If I can get that thing back to my house, I know I can fix it. I want to make you guys happy. I know, I'm gonna get blamed for this, and fired, again. This time tomorrow, we better have that fixed. Oh, you gotta get up there and slide it. After I went to jail, I started living in my storage building. Put me a TV in there, and I got a bed, and I uh, got a kitchen. Then get down here and help me. I'm, I'm blessed uh, compared to a lot more people. Okay. Oh, man. Where's the uh, Oh, it should be in the back right here. Eddie. Don't you tell. You had it. No. Surely you didn't lose the antler. Shit. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. I don't see it anywhere, Eddie. Farrah. I don't know. It's just... We're just gonna glue it back on where I was gonna fix it, Farrah. Now, we're screwed. You can find another one. Farrah. That is impossible. A deer antler is like fingerprints. They all differ. This woman is gonna drive me to drink. God knows that I don't need that. Well, you gotta do what we gotta do. Oh okay, my fire. God, what in the heck? This is my collection. It's been many years of hunting. I love my nephew, Neil. We gotta get every one of them out so I can expect them. Even if I have to search every deer head in Georgia, I'm not gonna let him down. What about this one? I'm looking for one with two horns, like fork it. Ow, I just poked the hell out of myself. Well, this is all your fault. All you had to do is keep up with one antler. Get in okay. the car. Okay. Come on. I'm trying. We've got an appointment in 30 minutes. We're in the middle of trying to grow this business, and the Dixons, they're a great client, but we need a lot more. I've got a whole family to support. I mean, who's gonna get Farrah out of this bad marriage? Keep mom looking 40? I mean, Eddie's son, he needs to go to college. It takes a lot. Wait, the address? Yeah, that's uh, 2468 Basin Drive. Yeah. Okay, thanks, bye. <sighs> You know, Neil got all my best qualities. And Farah, well, she got my pretty legs. I'm getting concerned about getting new business. We don't have any new jobs up and coming. Don't worry about that. 
guess what I found out? What? That Devin Sites was a NASCAR driver now. You Do you mean, remember You that? mean Davin? Yeah. You know, that would be a great connection for you. Yeah, I don't think he oh likes me, though. Davin, he was a big sports guy, and, I mean, he just did not like guys like me. When we went to camp, um, he had told somebody that Fair was smoking, but Probably it kind of irritated me. I mean, don't go tell a counselor. So later I hit him in the head with the dodgeball. I mean, it was an accident. I didn't mean to hit him in the face. I was aiming for his balls. <laughs> That's the perfect demographic, yeah, young, NASCAR. rich. And you know what she said? That he comes to town every Friday to Locos. Mm. What if you just happen to be at Locos? <laughs> I like the way you think. How's it coming? Slow, I need your help. I want you to go up to all these thrift stores mm -hmm. and find one that is perfect. Look at the points. These are G2s. What's the G stand for? Um. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming here. Oh, honey, it's my pleasure. Anytime I can be for men and beer is, I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Frankie's my grandmother, although I've never been able to call her that. She'd say, uh, it's Frankie. One more okay. drink of this beer. I know. Have I a few more. <laughs> Davin's here. He's, he's playing pool behind me. I mean, what should I, I say? I'd probably remember me hitting you in the head with a ball. <laughs> you think I should leave with that? <laughs> you know I would, but... <laughs> hey, what's up? Remember I hit you in the head? <laughs> Want to be friends again? <laughs> I need some new business, and you're in NASCAR, and I know there's a lot of money. <laughs> there's no better icebreaker than a drunk granny. What's up? The hill. Yeah, you remember me? Yeah. It's been about 15 years, hasn't it? Yes. And let me introduce you to my friends. Okay. This is Tommy. Hey, what's up, Tommy? This is Neil. My friend Junior. He helps me a lot of my race hey. cars and stuff. Oh, yeah? And we're back in camp together. It's yeah. been years ago. Hey, you want to join us for some pool? I mean, hey, come on, okay. play pool with us. I'll go on. with that. All right. Cool. You ever been married? I am. I can't believe someone hadn't snatched you up as handsome as you are. <laughs> If I drank all this beer, you would have to take me home. Hey, come on in. Hey, Neil. Good to see you. What do we got? Big project here. All Very right. big project. One, I got everything. I'm meeting with several contractors at the Dixons to get this project off the ground. Everything has to be on time and orchestrated to a T. From tiling, construction, plumbing, you have to time everything out perfectly. I mean, I've got to nail this. These clients are very particular. Okay. I have a very clear vision for this window treatment. It needs to feel full and opulent like a mini Versailles. I mean, do you think there'll be a problem mounting around this trim? Because no, we, we can notch the Wait, back hold on. Oh. Shit, hold on up. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hey! What the fuck? I messed up. I was supposed to have that delivery go across town, but I gave the Dixon's address instead. I mean, how stupid could I be? Eddie, I've got a catastrophe right now at the Dixon's. Call me back. I keep calling Eddie and Farah and Mom. No one's answering their phones. Farah. Yeah, why isn't Eddie answering his phone? Yes, I did pay you last week. Farah, listen, don't worry about that. I totally screwed up. I sent six tons of mulch to the wrong address. I have nobody to blame but myself. I've got to get it cleared up before the Dixons come home, or I'm totally screwed. Neil. What happened? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Six tons of mulch. 
I mean, how are we going to move this? Well, maybe they have a uh, dust buster or something. A dust buster. What are we going to do with that? Go We're put it over take... there? Shit. Um, I'm going to have to load this into my Range Rover and start hauling it off. I messed up. Now I know how fair it feels most of the time. <laughs> God. Where is Eddie? I've left him messages. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't you call him? Yeah, and I think he might be low on his minutes. I bet that's what he, he doesn't is. doesn't have minutes? We're sitting here with six tons of mulch and we can't get in touch with him because he doesn't have freaking minutes? Y'all are doing a great job. Oh, look who it is. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. What is that? That's six tons of mulch. Ooh. This thing is just all just going down the drain. No, it's not. I mean, my goodness. You know you can give this family a name. You know. I'm just trying to run this business. I've got so much going on. I made a mistake. It was my fault. I mean, I, I just don't know what I'm going to do because I've got to keep us all working. Tomorrow will be a better day. This will all come together, I promise you. I have been a businesswoman for 40 years, and if I can teach them the way to be successful, I will do that until the day I die. <laughs> what is that? Is that Eddie? Yes, look oh at all the other people. Oh my God! Look at that. Is that a deer head on his truck? Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I ever doubt Eddie. I mean, he always comes through. I guess you did get my messages. I mean, he's like a redneck James Bond or like a hillbilly MacGyver. Let's go, guys. Let's get this straightened out. I, I can't believe all these people came and, I mean, I'm not even gonna ask about this. Man, thank you so much. Yeah. God. Oh. You got to loosen up. This ain't nothing. You're gonna make mistakes. I will be here. I promise. Neil, I know he's my nephew, but also he's my boss. It's a team effort, and I'm just blessed and thankful to be a part of it. Now, if I can only find the right woman for him, he's gonna realize he wasn't a homosexual all along. Okay, that was an unexpected success. I mean, I can't believe all that worked out. Uncle Eddie saved the day. Thank you, Eddie. Um, Farah, yeah. I need that. You writing hearts? I was designing okay. it. Okay. Well, so you know, I'm always complaining about the left side of this damn board being empty. Yes, you are. So, uh, watch this. Davin called back. So we got NASCAR. So you gonna uh, interior design his car? What now? I believe it's his house instead of his car. NASCAR's huge, y'all. You hear it's a risk to work with family. You know, it's horrible, don't do it. But I've hired a lot of employees, and they were pretty freaking horrible. So, you know, working with my family, it's a delight. You're gonna love this. Gainesville Hunting Lodge. What is it? Your sister messed up the horns. Yeah. Okay. Farah, wake yeah. up. Farah broke it, and then she lost it. And then I had to take it to these people. You had them fix it? Yes. So uh, for a favor, for a favor, I told them that you'd do it free. How much was involved in gluing a horn back on a head? A lot. lot. A lot. They had to go kill a deer that looked just like that deer <laughs> to get it right, actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, it's two steps forward and one step back. <laughs> so now we got two new jobs. 